Hello everyone, I have recovered from my miserable SummerSlam and I am here to present to you, not with a Raw review, I am not going to bother doing a Raw review, Raw is trash, as always, so I'm not going to do a Raw review, I am going to give you something else, I haven't recently been talking about it, but I thought I'd get this out of the way now, and, uh, and I'll talk about some WWE 2K18. I haven't been able to talk about it lately, because I've been I've been quite upset. Not not just with SummerSlam in general, but I actually have seen King Schmidt's videos. I don't understand why he's upset with uh, two, WWE 2K18, but. Okay, but I think he should give me a reason why he's not very happy with WWE 2K18. But honestly, I think it's over the trailers. I think that's what it is. Why do you care about a trailer? Look, I've got nothing against you, man. I've got nothing against you. But why are you ranting about a, about a trailer? I honestly don't care about the trailer. Whatever the trailer is, it, it's the trailer. Whatever it is, it is. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't, you know, make me want to, you know, say, oh, the, the, the game's build-up is, is not really looking all that good. So, 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 don't take it the wrong way. I know you'd never take what I say the wrong way, King Schmidt. So, I kind of want to know what... Is your dynamic here? Dynamic. Sorry, couldn't use my words properly. I wasn't sure what you were trying to get out of this rant you were doing, but I'm not here to call you out on your rant. I am here to specifically say on what I, this is what I would want from WWE 2K18. Now, I have gotten some stuff revealed, so I guess I'll go over that, and then I'll go over the stuff that I want in 2K18, what I hope for in W2K18. Uh, first off, updated graphics. Seen it? Looks nice. Um, and also, I might do another video about W2K18 tomorrow. Um, it might be a bit of an obvious, well, it's actually going to be quite a bit of an obvious one. It's a champion's predictions on who will be champions in W2K18. But hey, with the titles changing, some things might be different. So, but I'll do that tomorrow if you're interested. But, W2K18 has updated graphics, which looks nice, by the way. I have seen footage. Looks really nice. Brock Lesnar, um, he looks really cool. The Universal title itself looks a hell of a lot better in the video game than it does in real life. I mean, seriously, what does that tell you? A video game can make a belt look better. The Elimination Chamber has, has also changed, which also looks really nice. And I now am happy. This was on my, on my what I wanted list. Entrances in the Elimination Chamber. Thank you. They're giving us entrances in the Elimination Chamber. This was the biggest, baddest thing about the Elimination Chamber. In every game, when the Elimination Chamber was introduced, back in SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, when, the, when that match was first introduced, we never got entrances. We never had a single game where they updated it to where it would give us entrances. I am glad that they've finally given us entrances for WWE 2K18, the Elimination Chamber. I am so glad that they finally did that. Props to 2K for doing that. Another thing I actually wanted, which which actually has slightly been confirmed, but, it, but things could change. Um, Royal Rumbles have now been updated. Um, the Royal Rumble isn't just a simple single uh, throw you out and th throw you out and just mash buttons until someone falls out of the ring. 
It is now a simple throw you out and you're gone. Just like back in the original SmackDown games, like SmackDown, SmackDown 2, SmackDown Just Bring It, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth, Here Comes the Pain, like those games. Like it's just it's now just a simple throw you over the top rope and you can either hold on or you just throw right go, go right out of the ring. The only negative thing about that is that it kind of makes it look like coming out at number one is it's like almost impossible. Like it, it feels like it's almost impossible. Like if you're near the ropes and like your opponent grabs you, you you're, you're you're scared. You're gonna immediately get eliminated. So the best thing you should really hope for is that you're good at countering. If you're good at countering, then you can protect yourself. But from what I've heard is that the opponent counter a lot in the Royal Rumble. And that is most of the time how you get eliminated. And I kind of feel like that's actually quite annoying. So it's actually quite annoying at the same time. But I do like that fact that they've now made it easier to be eliminated in the Royal Rumble. Instead of just pressing buttons and dropping down a meter. And make sure the meat is empty until you knock someone out of the ring. Which I'm glad that they fixed that. When uh, I, What game did they introduce that? Uh, they introduced the button mashing in SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. But they introduced the um, beat, the, the, the uh, meter of, uh, the, the, the meter uh, to empty it till you get eliminated in uh, SmackDown vs. Raw. The very first one. So, look. Those worked. Those worked at a time, but obviously people have obviously understood that this is not how a Royal Rumble is meant to be. So, so I'm glad 2K has brought back the original way of tossing people out of the Royal Rumble. Eight people. Eight people can now be allowed to participate in the Royal Rumble. That is the maximum amount of numbers, which that also confirms eight man matches. Thank you. This is another thing that, two, that that WWE games have been lazy to add. Eight-man matches. This was another thing that I wanted on my list. So, that's another good thing. They've now ad added create a match. Which, I'm not 100% sure what that is. But they said that it was in WWE 2K14. So, either, uh, either it's create a story um, like back like do you remember those uh create a story where you you can make your own storyline and, and you can make it based about one person and you can create it any way you want to if, if that's what it is then that's great because i actually liked that it got boring after a while but yeah i did like it um also that also the newest thing they've added is that you can now carry your opponent around and you can like you know like say for example um Say, for example, like, if Baron Corbin picks you up like this, he can, you know, walk you to, like, the uh, the apron or the ropes or, or whatever. They're, they've now added that dy dynamic into the game, which I think is also a very good thing because they need to make it more easier to give you freedom. You need to have freedom when it comes to games to make it more look like you're actually wrestling. So adding that... Adding that in was another good thing on w on um, 2K, and I'm very glad that 2K did that. Uh, now I believe that is everything um, I've heard that's been added. Uh, well, also they've added um, Road to Glory, which I'm not really sure what that is. Um, ambulance match has been confirmed in the game. Parking lot brawls are now back in the game. First Bloods match are back in the game. Uh, two out of three falls, three stages of hell, whatever you prefer to call it, is back in the game. Um, and I hope they give you option for Royal Rumbles, like you can make it like 10, 20, 30. And ha oh hell, bring back 40. I would not mind having a 40 man Royal Rumble. And also another thing is that I wonder how they're going to handle the money in the bank in this game. Because we just now had women participate in money in the banks. How are they going to allow us in universe mode to have women participate 
in Money in the Bank ladder matches. I did this in 2K17. I did that in 2K17. I just went to six-man match, ladder match, put six girls in, and it didn't even register. I'm not going to say who won, because it really wouldn't have, it really didn't matter. The person that won the briefcase, it, it, it wasn't even official. Like, you know how it has the news and it tells you who won? That didn't even come up. And, and, I, went to, and I went to her, and it didn't even say Miss Money in the Bank on it. To me, that was disappointing. So, so I wonder how they're going to handle the women's Money in the Bank ladder match in 2K18. All right, now I'm going to go over what I what I what I've been wanting in uh, 2K18. Um, the Punjabi prison and the Punjabi prison is definitely what I want in uh, WWE 2K18. As much as every other match that exists. So pretty much every match that exists in WWE needs to be in 2K18. Into gender matches, into gender multis, you know, like two guys and a diva teaming up, and or maybe like an eight eight way, like three guys and a diva teaming up. Mixed gender needs to be in all categories in tag team matches. Um hell, even ha Hell, even have the Punjabi prison in triple threat and fatal four-way extents because you know you never know that could be interesting. Seeing a four-way version of a Punjabi prison or a triple threat version of a Punjabi prison that would be quite interesting. Um, in um, game modes, do you people remember the old general manager mode? Yeah. I think that should be brought back in W2K18. But why? We've got Universe Mode. The reason why is because I think it should be in Game Modes. Where, where you can just have fun, do whatever you want. Sure, Universe Mode is there, but Universe Mode is more like WWE. Like, they give you the official roster. Like, who's currently on Raw? Who's currently on SmackDown? Who's currently on NXT? WWE General Manager Mode allowed you to pick whoever you wanted. Any available person that is in your game, you can draft that person wherever you wanted it. Wherever you wanted that person. Like you can have an Osuka on Raw, Ember Moon on SmackDown, Bobby Roode on SmackDown. You can even put a Dolph Ziggler in NXT. Or even a John Cena to NXT. That's what the General Manager Mode was. Like, you could put whoever you want on your brand. But the problem was, what was the downfall to this mode was what SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 did with it. Sure, it added ECW. I did not mind that. But the problem they had with the general manager mode was the fact that they allowed one brand to have two draft picks. Like, for example... Raw and SmackDown are the first two brands to pick who they want. Say you draft John Cena to Raw, and SmackDown drives The Undertaker, and then ECW gets two picks, and those two picks are Triple H and Shawn Michaels. I mean, that is that is completely, completely unfair. SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 and 2007 did it right. It has to be one pick her brand. And that is what I want from General Manager Mode if it comes back in WWE 2K18. I want it to be one person per pick, even for NXT. There's no need to have two picks, three picks for one brand. There's no need for that. Or if you don't want General Manager Mode, at least put the draft in the Universe Mode. At least give us an option to turn the draft lottery on. At least let us use the draft lottery. Like we could switch anyone to we could either switch anyone to SmackDown or Raw or even to NXT if you want to include NXT. That was my major problem with general manager mode. If you don't want to add general manager mode, then give us draft lottery. Give us draft lottery. 
that is the other thing I have also requested and that I want in Dota 2K18 the cheer and boost system needs to change to face and heal the reason why I say this is because I kind of get bored of the cheer and boo crowd reaction thing like it would be better off if it, it would be better off if it said face or heal Sure, sure, W2K17 added the face and heal in the game, but they only added that for career mode. They've added that for career mode in 15, 16, and 17. That's the only re that's the only thing that's the only time they've had the word face and heal involved in any video game. Then the word face and heal needs to exist in every game. I'm tired of the whole boo and cheer thing. Like, you can't say this superstar turned boo, or this superstar turned cheer. That, that, that's really, that's really weird. Just make it face and heal. Hmm. Also, I think, um, the custom Titan Tron thing should return. Even though they do, add, even though they have added in video to, uh, 2K17, um, that can be quite boring, considering the fact that you have to play matches and use the highlight reel. I mean, look, I've got no problem with the highlight reel being in the game, but using the highlight reel just to save clips, I mean, do you know how, how embarrassing it is for me? Because I have to get Jindam, I have to make... Jinder Mahal, a Titantron, which doesn't even fit his character. Like, they don't even have, like, a an Indian-type background. And I hate this guy, but I have to make a Titantron for this guy, because it, cause in cause in 17, he wasn't even in the game. So I had to make a custom Titantron for this guy. In order for me to do that, I had to play matches. I had to put this guy in matches. I had to literally play this guy in matches, so in that way he could do certain moves... So I can save them, highlight reel, and save them in in, in, in videos. So then that way I can get the, get this guy a Titantron. That was some. That was a big pill for me to swallow. I had to put this guy in matches, just so that I can fulfill a custom Titantron for him. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And also, and also, custom logos is a load of bullshit. Because I got two Jinder Mahal logos that would that would perfectly fit in his goddamn Titantron. And guess what? They didn't even register. They didn't even go on. They were saved. They were literally saved in my logos, but they wouldn't go on the video. That is what made that Jinder Mahal Titantron so terrible. It wouldn't let me use the custom logos I got. And it's a good thing, because I don't like Jinder Mahal. So it's a good thing I didn't make his Titantron look freaking real. Custom soundtracks. Now, we all know custom soundtracks. This is another thing everybody loved. Especially when the PS3 versions. The PS4 does not support CDs and it doesn't support downloading music through CDs on a PS4 which that is one of the biggest blows to the PS4 if the PS4 allowed you to do that we wouldn't have problems with downloading guys of community creations and giving them out giving them the music and because that and because the community creations does exist and it's become one of the biggest successes for 2K for 2K especially for WWE games considering people you can't get in the game because there's going to be people I know that for a fact there is going to be NXT guys and girls left out of the games all because 2K couldn't fit them in Which I have a lot of faith in 2K18 
to add a lot of wrestlers to that game. Every person from the Cruiserweight Classic should be in. Or should I say 205 Live. And everybody in NXT should be in it. There's no need to add legends. The only legends that you should add in are Hall of Famers. I'm okay with you putting in Hall of Famers. But just putting in random guy, but putting in randoms that we don't even know. To me, that's silly. Even Brie Bella, Brie Bella, who who's retired. And trust me, I'm I'm a I'm a Brie fan, but why is she in the game? They put her in the game again. I thought 2K17 was going to be the final time we would see Brie Bella in a, in a WWE game. But no, we're going to see her again in another 2K game. Why? Is this their way on hinting she's coming back? Is this their way on hinting that Brie Bella will be coming back soon and going to be wrestling again? Or is it because they just want to add her so in that way people want to play as her in case that people miss Brie Bella and they want to play as her? And that's cool. That that's cool, but why did? But here's my major concern. Honestly, it's been a couple of years since my all-time favorite AJ Lee retired. Don't you think it would have been nice to put her in WWE 2K16? But no, you completely ignored her. You completely pushed her aside. Oh, sh oh, she retired. There's no need to put her in 2K16. Yes, there was. There was a good reason to put her in 2K16, in case if people really wanted to continue using her. But no, you want it. But no, you you but you're okay with putting Brie Bella, who is semi-retired, who is semi-retired, and you put her in two video games, where she doesn't even wrestle anymore. You put CM Punk in WWE 2K15. All because you had to, because you had a you had a storyline based on him. In my opinion, AJ Lee should have been in 2K16, but that's in the past. I just want to point that out in case if anybody was curious. The WWE games have been lazy on adding certain wrestlers or just didn't want to add certain wrestlers just because. I could go through a list of games where certain wrestlers weren't added in, but that will just make my video too long. This is about WWE 2K18, not the other games. Um, the other thing I think WWE 2K18 should add is definitely... Hmm, let me think. What would have been... Well, they've got King of the Ring tournaments. They've got all that, so they, at least they, at least they let us, you know, keep tournaments involved. I think. What? Here's another. Here's another one. I've got. I, I've got it. Two K sixteen. Here's another one. Two K sixteen allowed you. And I kind of find this stupid. Has anyone tried to do like their own draft in Two K sixteen? Where you would delete Raw and SmackDown from the, from the calendar, 2K16 let you do that, but in 2K17 you can't. You have to have at least one major show on your brand, so it's kind of hard to do like a random draft where you'd pick people, where you'd pick who you'd want on your show. So what I had to do was to create 205 Live. And use 205 Live as that main show, so I can get rid of Raw and SmackDown, and NXT, and you and you and put those three as a draft. They need to let you take off all shows, in case if you want to start again and do your own draft. And it, and also, give us a draft lottery, like I said, give us a show where we can have our own draft lottery, like on a wall. Like, on a Raw, where the other games did it like, you know, if you had the draft on, like, on a Raw or a SmackDown, you can have, like, a like have like have a draft match. And whoever won in that match would be granted a draft pick for that, for that show. For example, Raw winning SmackDown. 
So if someone from Raw would get someone from SmackDown. Same thing for SmackDown. If someone from SmackDown won, someone someone from Raw would be going to SmackDown. That is what they should add. So that's another thing. And another thing they should add, and this is this one, I flee 2K18 to do. I was all for it. I loved the idea of letting you cut promos. Face turn promos, heel turn promos. I loved the idea that they would let you do two promos. Self promos, call outs, face heel turn, tag team promos, tag team breakups. I liked that. But the problem was they did not have backstage interviews. They did not, they could not let you, they would not let you use backstage interviews throughout your shows. How are we supposed to make Raw and SmackDown Live and NXT or even 205 Live, how are we supposed to make these shows look real if we can't have backstage interviews? We need, if you want this game to make our shows look real, we need backstage interviews. What else do we need? We need attacks. We need people to interfere. Where you can interfere in 2K17, but you only interfere with, within post-match, mid-match, or after the match. I mean, seriously, like, having someone come out, and, for example, if I want Bailey to turn heel, like, I should have her at least interfere in a match and attack Sasha Banks, so that way she can turn heel and make the crowd hate her. You can't turn people heel like that. In, ga- in, 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 the, in the new games. You need to turn people a heel like that. I can't just, you know, set up a heel turn promo just so then I could turn someone heel. I know create I know setting up rivalries could help, but what if it doesn't go the way I intended? What if it's Sasha that turns heel instead of Bailey? It needs to be the right way. So for me to do it, it needs to make sense. You need to let the wrestlers interfere in matches where the where, where maybe like the referees knocked out and like you interfere. Like remember in um, WWE uh, two SmackDown versus Raw 2011, I believe it was, or was it WWE 12? I can't remember what game it was, but every time you would press the interfere button, there would a, a cutscene triggers where the referee gets knocked out. That's what triggers. There's a scene where a referee gets knocked out and the person that you have interfered can come in the ring and attack who you want. That is what I want to happen in 2K18. Especially if I want Bailey to turn heel as an example. If I want her to turn heel on ba- on, on Sasha, I need that cutscene where the referee accidentally gets knocked out so then Bailey can come running in, attack, attack Sasha so then that way the opponent can beat her. Or at least trigger the heel turn. That is what I also want in WWE 2K18. I could go on and on and on, but honestly, that's that's kind of all I want. More promos, backstage promos, attack promos, tag team promos, interferences where you can cause heel turns or face turns. Give us all that. Make the right make make the rivalries important. Because every time I set up a rivalry, most of the time they're not important. Normally it's the same old thing. I want these rivalries to look important. That's why I've stopped using create a rivalry. Because they don't make sense. So anyway guys, that has been my video on what I want in WWE 2K18. I hope you all enjoyed my... I wouldn't necessarily call this rant, but I hope you enjoy on what I would want in the game. And um, and King Schmidt, buddy, if you're listening, please tell me what is the problem with the game that you're not liking. Because I saw your videos about 2K18 and... You were calling them rants, all because they're trailers. I don't have I don't have a problem with the trailers. I don't give a shit about the trailers. But hey, 
it, it, it's your it's your channel. You can do what you want. I'm I'm not trying to be negative towards you, man. But you can do what you please. But at least show the fact that you're excited for the game. I mean, what I just told you, and what what has been confirmed should at least excite somebody for the game. But it's totally your choice, man. It's totally everything. That you, it's totally up to you. But so. Give me a response on what's going on. What 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 are you not enjoying about 2K18? That's making you angry all of a sudden. But this is not me shouting, calling you out or anything. This is just me asking a simple question. So anyway, guys, I will be back. May, 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 maybe I might maybe I might do on my champions predictions soon after I'm done with this video. It wouldn't take long, so I'm guessing I should do it after this video. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys afterwards. Catch you later guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment and subscribe.